What's up guys, iOS 8 is out right now. If you didn't already know, I uh, say so if you have an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPod Touch, go download it right now. I'll update to it, just go to your settings, go to your software updates, and you should see it there. If not, go ahead and go to iTunes. I will suggest if you do it through iTunes, or even the software update on here, uh, just go ahead and make sure everything is backed up to iCloud, synced up uh, either to there or iTunes, just before you do it, in case anything goes wrong, because problems can't happen. I know that was a lot really quickly, but yeah, back up your stuff. You don't want to lose it. Obviously, iOS 8 brings a lot of new features to the iPhone, uh, which I'm not going to be covering in this video, but if you want to, I did a whole separate video uh, covering iOS 8 and all the new features in it, which I will link down below. Uh, so you should go check that out if you want to. But one of those new features in iOS 8 is third-party keyboards, and that's exactly uh, what I'm going to be talking about in this video, and I'm going to be talking about specifically SwiftKey. It's a new keyboard for iOS 8, uh, which you can download right now. It is free in the App Store, and it is amazing. Pretty much what it does is it makes typing so much much easier and faster once you get used to it. So it looks and works just like any other regular keyboard, but uh, you can also do another thing where you actually swipe to type. And the way this works is you tap your finger on a letter that you're going to start out a word with, and you actually swipe to the next letter, and then swipe to the next letter, and then the next letter, and the next letter, and then you remove your finger, and then it will actually type the word for you. Uh, so it's swipe typing. It's actually super fast once you get used to it. Uh, it feels really weird at first, but uh, you can type words, as you see, so much faster. Like you pretty much just get to where uh, you know know exactly where to swipe your finger to. And when you're swiping word there at the end, when you take your finger off, it actually puts a space there right after it for you. So you only actually have to hit the space bar. It does it automatically, uh, puts the space, and you can just go on to swiping the next word. It also, of course, has autocorrects. If you're just typing normally and you're typing quickly and you miss a letter here and there, it'll also correct the words for you. And the cool thing is, it's actually really smart, uh, and it can tell where you're trying to swipe to. So you don't actually have to be exactly right. Uh, it'll just learn how you type the words you say, uh, how you spell them, and eventually, uh, it'll know exactly where you're trying to swipe, even if you didn't swipe to the right spot. Now, to actually get SwiftKey set up, or really any third-party keyboard, is pretty much the same way. Uh, you got to go into your settings once it's downloaded. Uh, then you're going to go to General, then you're going to go to Keyboard, Keyboard again, or actually Keyboards, and then you're going to add a new keyboard, and you're just going to select SwiftKey right there. Go ahead and add it. Now, once you have the SwiftKey keyboard installed and selected, go ahead and tap on it. I uh, go into the settings, and you're going to allow full access uh, to the keyboard, so that way it can do its thing. Now, when you actually download SwiftKey, it's not just in your settings, it does install an app, uh, which you can open up and you can see your SwiftKey cloud settings where you can connect it to Facebook or Google Plus, and then that way it'll actually sync up to all of your other devices, and then it'll save all of your words and predictions and stuff like that you already did. You can also go to your keyboard settings and then you go to themes, then you can actually change the theme of your keyboard, uh, which there's a nickel dark and nickel light, I prefer the light, I think it looks a little bit better. So seriously check this out, it's free, uh, it takes no time at all to download it, install it, uh, and just try it out. If you don't like it, you can just go into your settings and turn it off, uh, just like you did before and you don't have to use it. But again, it's just like your other keyboard, except you can swipe for words when you want to. And I'm telling you, once you play around with it a little bit, you will get used to it and you will want to do it more. Trust me. Now that it's on iOS and Android, I am not going to use a phone if it doesn't have swipe keyboards. All right, guys, there you go. If you want to download this keyboard, again, I'll put a link down below in the description. Go ahead and give that a click. And then also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right there so you don't miss any of my future videos. I got the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus coming out on Friday. I'm going to be picking both of those up, doing videos on those. So subscribe. Uh, if you want to see my review and videos on all of that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.